Welcome travelers to Adventures in Security. In this video, I look at why APIs can increase our attack surface and how we help mitigate that risk. The bibliography and video script are available in the video description. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss future content. One of the critical building blocks of users or process access to information resources is the Application Programming Interface, or API. Because of this, API vulnerabilities are a popular attack target. Developers and security teams must pay close attention to how they are created, and organizations must take appropriate steps to manage any associated risks. The article, API Security, 10 Major API-Related Vulnerabilities and Ways to Address Them, explains how to approach this critical security challenge, the link to which is included in the video description. APIs act as intermediaries facilitating seamless communication between software components or systems. When an application requests an API, it sends a specific set of parameters or data to the API, which processes the request and returns the desired response. The response can be data, functionality, or a combination. However, the increased adoption of APIs has also brought about security concerns. Here are some common API security vulnerabilities and related attacks. One of the most prevalent vulnerabilities occurs when an attacker gains unauthorized access to an API by exploiting weak authentication mechanisms or poorly implemented access controls. This could result in unauthorized data exposure, manipulation, or even denial of service. Injection attacks occur when an attacker inserts malicious code or data into an API request or response. This can lead to code execution, on the server side or unintended access to sensitive information. A denial of service attack aims to overwhelm an API server with a flood of requests, rendering it unresponsive or unavailable. This can be achieved by exploiting API implementation vulnerabilities or launching distributed attacks from multiple sources. APIs that transmit data without encryption can expose sensitive information to interception, eavesdropping, or tampering. Attackers can exploit this vulnerability to steal valuable data, such as user credentials or personal information. APIs that lack proper rate limiting and throttling mechanisms are susceptible to abuse. Attackers can overload the API by sending many requests, causing performance degradation or service interruptions. Poorly implemented error handling in APIs can inadvertently disclose system details or sensitive information, providing valuable insights to potential attackers. To safeguard APIs against various attacks, it's essential to implement a multi-layered security strategy. For unauthorized access, employing strong authentication and authorization mechanisms is crucial. For instance, using OAuth 2.0 can ensure that only authenticated users can access the API, and Role-Based Access Control RBAC, can restrict access to sensitive endpoints based on user roles. Additionally, implementing API gateways can provide an extra layer of security by managing and monitoring API traffic. An API gateway is a software layer that acts as a middleman between clients and backend services in a distributed software architecture. It's a single entry point for API calls, and it performs a number of tasks to manage the flow of requests and responses, including routing requests to the appropriate services, collecting responses from multiple services and combines them into a single response for the client, enforcing security policies such as authentication, authorization, and access control, managing rate limiting, translating protocols, performing load balancing. API gateways can be useful in a number of situations, such as when multiple platforms need to interact with each other without direct access to each other's APIs. For example, an API gateway can allow different departments in a company to share data without needing to access each other's internal systems. Another important function gateways provide is rate limiting, a safeguard that helps manage denial of service attacks. API rate limiting is a technique used to control the number of requests a client can make to an API within a specified time frame. This helps ensure the stability and performance of the API, preventing it from being overwhelmed by too many requests at once. When a client makes a request, the API checks if the request falls within the allowed limits. If it does, the request is processed. If it exceeds the limit, 
the API rejects the request and returns an error message, often indicating that the rate limit has been exceeded. There are several methods to implement rate limiting. User-based limits. Limits are set based on individual users, identified by API keys or IP addresses. Once a user reaches the limit, further requests are throttled or denied. Location-based limits. Limits are applied based on geographic locations to ensure fair distribution of resources. Server-based limits. Limits are set on the server side to manage the distribution of server resources like CPU and memory. When a server reaches its limit, requests are routed to another server or denied if all servers are at capacity. To protect against injection attacks, input validation and sanitization are key. For example, using parameterized queries or prepared statements can prevent SQL injection attacks by ensuring that user inputs are treated as data rather than executable code. Similarly, validating and sanitizing inputs can mitigate the risk of other types of injection attacks, such as XML or JSON injection. To prevent data interception or tampering, encrypting data in transit using HTTPS is essential. This ensures that data exchange between the client and the API is encrypted and cannot be easily intercepted or tampered with by attackers. Additionally, implementing message integrity checks, such as using hash-based message authentication code, can help verify that the data has not been altered during transmission. Hash-based message authentication code, HMAS, is a cryptographic technique that uses a secret key and a hash function to verify the authenticity and integrity of a message. HMAC is more secure than message authentication code MAC because the key and message are hashed separately. Poor error handling can expose sensitive information to attackers. To address this, it's important to implement proper error handling and logging practices. For example, Returning generic error messages to the client can prevent attackers from gaining insights into the API's internal workings. At the same time, detailed error logs should be maintained on the server side to aid in troubleshooting and forensic analysis without exposing sensitive information to the client. See the bibliography in the video description for resources that further address these safeguards. That's it for this video. Again, if you liked what you saw, if you learned anything, please click the thumbs up. And until next time, be careful what you click.